Jubilee Party followed the law in making changes to its leadership, the Registrar of Political Parties has said. Yesterday Registrar Anne Derrida told The Standard that after scrutiny, it was established that documents presented to her office affecting changes, which have caused an uproar among some members, were signed by bona fide officials as required by law. Jubilee has proposed to replace Fate Yuma Shukri, Pamela Mutua and Veronica Maynard in the National Management Committee NMC, after all three took up government jobs. The party has nominated Lucy Makariya, Mait Marangu, Walt Nyambati, Jane Nampaso, and James Waru to replace them. The intention to change Jubilee Party's National Management Committee followed the law. For us, we look at the documents and confirm if they have been signed by the relevant officials, and in this case that was done, said Ems Nderitu. Yesterday MPs allied to Deputy President William Ruto, pictured, faulted the party's leadership for failing to convene any meeting three years since its formation. The leaders said lack of meetings for the party's National Executive Committee NEC, National Delegates Council NDC, and the parliamentary group, PG, had now led to members resorting to using social media to air their grievances. Deputy Secretary General Caleb Kozitny, Soy, Moses Uria, Gatandu South, Nixon Cora, Lang Arta, and Nakaru Senator Susan Kaihika blamed the party's Secretary General Rafael Tuj of misleading party leader President Uaru Kenyatta not to convene the meeting. Call for fairness Mr. Kozitany yesterday led the delegation to the registrar's office and asked to see the documents that gave legal backing to effect the changes in the party. We don't favor anyone, but all we want is fairness. NEC has not had a meeting for three years. So we want to see the documents that gave the registrar the legal backing. Jubilee is not private property. The issue is not even the process, but the documents, said Kozitany. He added, it is immoral that Tuju and his cohorts have taken advantage of COVID-19 pandemic to orchestrate fraudulent changes to the party. COVID-19 did not suspend the rule of law in the country. Mr. Guria, in particular, questioned those castigating them for using social media yet they had killed all avenues of communication within the party. Asked whose responsibility it was to convene party organs meetings, Guria said although the constitution placed the duty on the party leader, a cabal of those he claimed wanted the party dissolved had been misleading the president.